Sometimes these screens on these remote controls, these LCD screens, they go dark. And let me show you something that uh, I have seen work in the past. Uh, we'll take this apart. This is not about a particular remote. This works with a lot of these different uh, uh, LCD screens. So I've already got the case open and that will vary with the remote. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the circuit board and carefully take this out. These contacts will come out down here. Make sure they come out. You don't bend them. Um, and so what we've got is we've got this uh, zebra connector here and it touches the other side of this rubber piece here. And can you see that? This is, yeah, this is uh, turned dark in the middle. But it's not actually dark. It's actually clear. Uh, it's turning clear. You can see my finger through there, I think. Um, yeah, you can see the shadow of my finger through there. So what's actually happening is it's turning clear and there's supposed to be a reflective layer back there. So what you can do is you can take a piece of aluminum foil that's carefully cut and set it on here. Now you may need tape or whatever to hold it in place. In this particular remote it'll just stay in place because of the circuit board. But you want to smooth it on there as carefully as possible. Get it flat. And uh, these need to be uh, cleaned if there are segments dropping out on your, on your uh, LCD screen. You can clean this carefully with a soft eraser. And the same with this side. Don't, don't get carried away or it will ruin it. And then we're going to put this back in place like this. Whoops. Forgot something important. In this particular one, uh, these rubber ears help hold the aluminum foil in place. Now this won't give you a brand new look on your screen, but it will certainly make it usable. There we go. And I've also got an LCD wall clock to do. Um, the date and time and all that on it no longer shows it's turned completely dark. And I've also uh, used white paper, some bright reflective white paper behind it will work. Let's put some batteries in it. One, two, and there we go. You can see that. It's perfectly usable. Again, it's not perfect, but uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, much better than it was. Okay, well that was it. I hope you found that useful and interesting in your DIY home repair projects.